start recording. I forgot about that last time I did this. But um, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. And this is the house that my family lived in for the first year we were in Missouri. Cobb House. And it's uh, still in decent shape. Uh, he said the pond liner on the top is still holding up. Uh, uh, my daughter, when we lived here, had a raspberry patch up there, but there wasn't enough, a strawberry patch, I'm sorry, wasn't enough dirt there to, you know, it just kind of got too hot from the sun hitting it and reflecting upwards. But the uh, tin there is to keep squirrels and mice out of the, off of it, so they can't climb up that. But, uh, and this was, this is, was wider, widened after we uh, lived here. A bird nest up there. <laughs> so, just uh, infinite artistic uh, ability. Uh, you know, just do anything you want. There, there's a. The people that built this had a uh, more, you know, kind of an artistic flair. And uh, after we moved out, we they pulled the. Uh, outhouse and put in a flushing toilet and it was just running out here right about there on the ground and I was like that's gross well we had planted bamboo down there about 40 about 50 feet 50 to 75 feet I had planted bamboo there and so right about where you see that bamboo was where my uh, manure uh, operation was my uh, worm farm you know I would take the manure out of the outhouse dump it in there and there were manure worms in there so anyway I took a hoe and ran the uh, a trench down to the bamboo and guess what the bamboo was like hey this is really good food and it just exploded now it's kind of taken over the area but that is um my son did some adjustment up here if i can if it's still up there and if i can remember what it says it's kind of hard to read teach the children show thyself a man uh, be strong show thyself a man yeah my sons had added that, <laughs> patched that up. So now on this end, you can still see the original layers. There's your what you call your stem wall. You want to have about a two-foot wall, 18-inch to two-foot wall, up to uh, protect it from snow and rain. And then about every foot here, you can see another course of cob. There's a walking stick, really active. Usually they're pretty... Uh, slow, lethargic. Um, or is that a praying mantis? There, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, one time there was a video of a snake uh, going after a praying mantis. Well, big mistake. <laughs> praying mantis rips heads, snake's head off and eats it. <laughs> so there's one course of cob there between the things, and then there's another one, and a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one. You know, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, about 13 courses of cob total to go to the peak of the roof. So, anyway, there's been some modifications. This, whatever this is here, drain of some sort was not here. Back porch is an addition. But here's another example of hey, you want to have a shelving set there for something to, you know, if this is your barbecue place and you want to set your fuel cans there, lance, lan lanterns, lanterns lamps, whatever, have at it. So, but everything here was rough hewn right out of the forest, stripped bark, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And here we have a little, okay, this one's not gonna last long. There's ants going up and down that eating, uh, living daylights out of that thing, that corner there. Yeah, that's about gone. Munched away. And there were just hundreds and hundreds of uh, earth bees Oh yeah, I don't know if they're still bees, but they're boring. They love cob. See that whole wall is covered with little nests, mud and dauber nests, things. So, I'm not going any closer than that. Oh, that's a lid, not just a... The next thing over this way is a lid on the outside, a, a crock pot lid, glass lid on the outside of that uh, lamp shade that I showed you. All right, well, that's it. This is Jerry Diamond. Just a, had a sample of uh, a very simple, very inexpensive to build house. And um, the difference between this 
and Earthship. If people look at Earthship and they go, oh, that's really neat. That's really great. And Earth Bag, you know, what they call Super Adobe. Yeah, that's really neat. That's really great. Yeah, they are. If you have a lot of labor or if you're a Superman. There's another walking stick going crazy. Uh, those two specific types of things are extremely labor intensive. Any kind of alternative home is very labor intensive, but this one is, while being labor intensive, anybody can do it. Anybody. A three-year-old child can help you with this because your blobs, cob means round mass. Well, that round mass can be the size of a baseball. It can be the size of a softball. And generally, somewhere in between softball size and soccer ball size is what you're looking at. So anybody can help with this. A child can do this can ha and be part of it. And this guy in here, he said, uh, you wouldn't believe how many people have come by and, you know, to tour this place. You're not the first. And I'm like, yep. We had about 25 of them traipse in on one, one evening for dinner. And uh, from the inside, that's the little hole in the cob, but you can put your keys in there or something. It's like a little key compartment or a light hole. Not finished out on the inside, even still after all this time. So the front, at least, this is finished out, most of it. You can see the uh, uh, granules of um, hay, straw a little bit. Um, fescue seed holes in there is what that is, the little bit of pieces. So, and this guy did the same thing. I, I was weed whacking here one day, and I still small voice in my head. I was cleaning off this sidewalk and still small voice in my head said you're throwing rocks at your van and I blew the window out of my van well he he <laughs> knocked the window out here so oh my gosh same story same song second verse <laughs> alrighty that's it thank you and if you're listening to this you are the remnant